This video is about using creeping herbs to retain slopes and resist erosion. Right here along my driveway, I have a cut in the uh, hillside. We had to level this place in order to put the house over here. It was a bit too steep. Yeah, we cut in here and it left me with Oh, two to three foot of vertical exposed soil that could erode. It's also pretty ugly. And so I've been working on trying to fix it up. Initially, we had just a whole lot of weeds and other stuff, grasses and stuff growing over here. Um, got that under control mostly by mulching it with cardboard. Here you can see cardboard mulch on the slope. Cardboard broke down. I went in and I started planting mint. So I have mint here at the very bottom of the slope where it's moist and sometimes a bit shady. Um, I figured the mint would do best at the bottom and then to meet it from the top I went ahead and I stuck Italian oregano up here on the top of the slope. There's a little parsley up there too. And then down on the bottom we got all kind of assortment here. Of, uh, we have an orchid which is an orange ground orchid called uh, uh, epidendron. Um, there is some Hawaiian tea over here. I got more epidendrons plugged into holes in the slope up there. They're doing okay. They're down here. I have a few terrestrial bromeliad uh, stuck in also. And then again, more mint. Um, here's the uh, epidendron in flower. It's a very pretty little thing. It does really well around here. It'll just ramble. Um, see behind the fern there is a little mint sticking up. and. Then the Neprolepsis exaltata, the southern sword fern, um, it just comes on its own around here. There's not a lot you can do with it. Um, and so I've left it. Uh, it'll do fine in here to hold the ground. Uh, and it's mixing with the mint there. Right here you see I took three and a half inch pots of the oregano and I plopped them in right on the very top of the slope. The slope drops right there. My plan is that they're supposed to ramble out, create a mat, and then like this little guy right here, start heading down the slope and covering it up for us. That way we'll have oregano for pizzas on the top and mint for mint juleps on the bottom. And the mint's against my driveway, so hey, ask me if I care if it runs all over. Uh, it'll smell pretty good when we run it over with the car. And then, lately I have taken papaya, and I have set them up top here between the flowering kale and cabbage because sometimes I have trouble with papaya not having quite enough drainage in this soil and they, they can rot out really easy. And so I put them on the brow of the slope here uh, hoping that that will solve the problem. And going down this way I took all the cuttings from the front yard every time I trim the dracaenas, the tea and the hibiscus and so on and so forth. And we just push them babies right into the mud here on the slope. I'm looking forward to having a beautiful and useful edible slope over here. What was an eyesore and maybe a bit of an erosion problem, hopefully will become a vertical herb garden. Um, it's working out pretty well. I'm starting to think about using succulents on the vertical here too, straight up and down. Happy gardening. Aloha.